Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Last we left off, we were defending... Defendering? Defending! Ex Cerberus from Cerberus. Alright. Let's see... Aha! Okay. Carefully. Slowly. There was, uh, something down here, wasn't there? I thought I saw... Yeah! Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, Caden. Excuse me. Okay, that's a lot of credits that I just stole. Not really gonna complain though. Hmm. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Hey, uh, Caden, you're pretty good with the tech stuff. Caden, go fix the guns. Yes, you sir. Ready, Garrus? Let them do their worst. <laughs> do it? I mean, you were standing right there. Right, Shepard has to activate the cutscene. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Hmm. I'm gonna do a quick check. Wait around. for my go. You can begin the evacuation from the command terminal. Got it. Right. Pretty sure I've got it all covered here. Did you have something new to say? The evacuation is progressing. Is there anything else? No. Nope. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. And basically Thank this you was again for everything you were doing for us. This was to give you another chance to pick up the Turian poison thing that was over there. And he doesn't have anything new, at least I don't think he does. Then again, I've had the tendency to gloss over things that I was missing before. Anything else, Shepard? We're ready to go when you give the word. Um... Yeah, I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Okay. Excuse me. Alright, so we are actually good to go. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shell launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Mm-hmm. 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 That's some dead Cerberus. 
I'm being awfully callous. Shuttle one is away. Cavalier, even. All right, everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Here! Get those people out of here. Well... Oh. Started me on the right gun this time, it looked like. And you're dead. And they're dead. Okay. And the ending pad is... We're going to do... Clear the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up. Then get out to... The landing pad. Will do. And you're dead. And you're dead. Jacob, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Here we go. Okay, let's get these people out. Okay. Out of here. When I tell you to do something, Shepard, I mean for you to do it. Actually, oh, hello, and you're dead. I think we've got pretty good command of the uh, area here. Oh, up there, are we? Hmm. He died anyway. Jacob, come in. What's your status? Shepard, the facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Confirmative. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. We're good to go. I mean, maybe charging the turret was not a wise idea. Jacob, landing area cleared. This place is crawling. Bring the shuttle to you. Roger that. Oopsie. Okay. I'm pretty sure 
pretty sure at this point we could just take him. That is a lot of Cerberus. Good luck. Actual tactic from the game. Looks like he's healed up pretty well. Well, oh. out by the skin of our teeth again, hey Shepard. Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive, but because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you, Doctor Cole. I have a request, one that you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Yeah, I was kind of not surprised. That's fine. We've got a pretty good uh, team as it is. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. I've Just played someone a lot like you. You're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. We never did get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. Hackett here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Hmm. Well, that's good. And we got to see what uh, Jacob was up to. Okay. Eden Prime support is pretty darn good, all things considered. Crucible now has ah the infero interferometric. Well, I should be able to say that correctly, but okay. Dr. Bryn Cole, Dr. Gavin Archer, yeah, fuck you. and Jacob. Okay. Our war assets are looking pretty good. And I feel pretty good about that mission. The server has seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the collectors while the council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. Yeah, that would be the distinction. Commander, Dr. Chuck was sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Okay. The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. Hmm. They turn it into a regular marine. Yes. Well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Don't break your Thanks, neck, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Rubbing off on you, am I? Let's see. I don't have to feed the fish, but I want to. And so far. They haven't really pulled the ghost fish tank thing that they did before. Let's see. Any new emails? Visiting the Citadel from Javik. Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assumed Specialist Trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travel there. In my lifetime, it had been captured by the Reapers. 
If you would like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of galactic control shared among races is a lie. Getting away from work? Liara. Shepard, I need an excuse to tear, away, tear myself away from all these monitors. Come see me the next time we dock on the Citadel. Take a break? Shepard, I thought next time we're at the... Next time we're at the Citadel, maybe we could take a break. Can't fight a war without a little R and R once in a while. I'll be hanging around C-Sec in the near sh near the shuttles if you're interested. From Garrus, and from Caden. Hey, Shepard. I don't know about you, but I sure could use a little breather. Next time we're on the Citadel, let me buy you dinner. We could try Apollo's. It's that little restaurant in the courtyard overlooking the Presidium. And found something from Miranda. Shepard, I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad. But there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you a nav point when you get here. Miranda. So, even more people... Let, mm, more people want to go meet on, on Citadel. But, before we do that... Kinda skipped over... Uh, huh. Down in engineering, eh? Sorry, I went a little Canadian. Maybe it's the influence of these games. Cerberus is gonna have a hard time recruiting now. A little bit. How's Jacob? He'll be okay. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Nice to see those Cerberus scientists come to their senses. After everything he's done, the elusive man can't pretend he's fighting for humanity. Anyone who isn't indoctrinated has to see that by now. Well, we got out early. Yeah. Commander? How about you, Edie? What's your opinion? What's on your mind, Edie? Liara recently requested assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs only in our universe, or in all possible universes. It may be that our laws of physics only occur in a finite area, a bubble, if you will, in an ocean of other possibilities. I am speculating whether, if you went far enough out, or created enough energy, you could reach a place where one plus one equaled three. Everything would change. All energy, all matter, all the underlying math of the universe would be unrecognizable to us. Makes what? sense. What were you thinking? I'll get back to you on that. Oh, come on. It wasn't that hard to follow. Just some existential evaluation of the data that we are given, plus philosophical... Eh, never mind. Commander, Caden was looking for you. I believe he's in the crew quarters. Huh. All right. Well, we're gonna start from the bottom again, as always. Hey, you. The munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. Yeah. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Okay. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Great. James? Huh. Huh. Alright. They're in the mess hall. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's go check out what Adams had to say. Or, well... Ugh, I'm falling down tired. I need a folding chair or something. You've got seating right over there. Has Elenko had media training? He just gave me the steady stare during our interview. He does that. Do we need to talk, Commander? No, no, we're Not good. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Okay, we're good, we're good. Run, run, run. Across. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Uh-huh. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. 
There was nowhere left to run. Oh. I trust you, Commander, when you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals. Otherwise. Perhaps later, Commander. Okay. And I'm technically out of time for this installment of Let's Play Mass Effect 3. But... So I hear the elusive man drinks bourbon. It all makes sense now. What do you mean? You look with he? Hey, Scotch, my dear girl. That scunner drinks American bourbon. Completely different. He's a psychotic megalomaniac, and you've got problems with his choice of liquor? You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of a fine Eli Scotch. Can't say that I have either. Commander. Good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. Yeah. I went right brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and I'll send the plans their way. Huh. Do it. Well done, everyone. So, depending on the fact that uh, quite a few different things, like upgrades that you ha you had to actually have picked up this little thermal piping for them, and you had to have brought both Donnelly and uh, and Daniels back onto the ship. Nothing to report, Commander. Yeah. So. Quite a few, a few little things had to come into place in order to get that extra little asset, but we got the benefit of that. So, I will hope to see you on the next installment of Let's Play Mass Effect 3, where we probably have a talk with Kaden and start going back to the Citadel to take care of some other unfinished business and some other little bits and pieces with the crew. Hope to see you then!